Over the last six weeks, 15 of Ireland's finest takeaways have battled it out in the Takeaway Titans kitchen for a place in the final. Uh, Edible gold. Yeah. I'm going in at the bottom. Something naughty about that. <gasps> From Indian and pizza to Chinese and chippers, these takeaway teams cooked up a storm. Take it off the hate. Take it off the hate. What are you doing, girl? Tonight, it's the final, where the fate of our five returning takeaway teams will be decided. Not by Dylan and Susie. It's every time that door opens, it drops in temperature. It's a hell of a task. Come on, guys. You got it, Two you more got minutes. It, you got it. But by the toughest judges of them all, the public. I've had five really, really good takeaways today. I'm torn between the pizza and the fish and chips. Which takeaway can deliver on flavour and presentation to wow the crowd? It's time to vote and claim the Takeaway Titans title. The five finalists have returned to the Takeaway Titans kitchen for one last time to compete for the title. From Letterfrack, County Galway, it's Tom and Eva of Little Fish. It feels so great to be through to the final. Competition is really strong. They all do great stuff, but so do we, so yeah. Yeah. From Dublin and winners of the Indian Heat, it's Sue and Rajesh of Spice Cottage. Being in final, and we are thrilled. We are going to impress the public with our food. I, I think, think we are going to win it. <laughs> Winners of the chicken and beef heat, it's Limerick's Adam and Gary of Samrose. Feeling good, feeling strong, feeling ready. It's the final, got a lot to prove. Yes. Let's do it, Chef. Let's do it. Winners of the pizzeria heat, it's Mick and Godwin of Dublin Pizza Company. You know, it's the finals, so just bring it all out. Well, we're going to go and bloody win it now, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Also from Dublin, winners of the East Asian Heat, it's Janet and C of Janet's. I think they were thinking we can go to the final, yeah. and now we did it. Yeah. So we are extremely happy and excited and nervous as well. It's the final. I am so excited for today. We've got a serious bunch of contenders. All of them deserve to be in the final. We have got chippers. Burgers, pizza, East Asian, Indian, the best versus the best. This is one round, one shot. If you don't nail it here, somebody else is going to. Welcome everyone to the final. Just want to say a huge congratulations to everyone. All of you guys impressed me, which if I'm honest, it's not always easy. You've done yourselves and your takeaways proud. I'm wishing you all the best for today and I cannot wait to taste what's going to come out of your kitchens. But today is all about impressing the toughest judges of them all, the general public, takeaway fanatics from all across Ireland. And the public have all the power as it's only their vote that will count today. First up to cook is Janet's Dublin Pizza Company and Sam Rose. Spice Cottage and Little Fish, you can go and relax. The very best of luck to you all. Your time starts now. Boom, upstairs. While Spice Cottage and Little Fish wait for their turn in the kitchen, the remaining three takeaway teams in the first heat have just 60 minutes to cook 30 tasting portions that they hope will win over the crowd. You're happy with the onions? Show me the onions. Bit of action, Chef. Bit of action. Dylan and Susie won't be judging today, but will be on the kitchen floor observing all the action. Okay, judge so it's the final. What, what are you looking out for? If I'm honest, I think the real challenge here is getting the volume out. It's one thing to do one, it's another thing to do volume. Just the consistency. They've got one hour. It needs to travel well. Do you know, they may be able to get it all out, but is it going to be hot? Mm -hmm. And is it going to look appetizing by the time the punters get it outside? What's going to hold? What's going to deteriorate as time goes on? I think all of our teams should be thinking about those things. Today, I'm looking for perfection. Nothing less than that will do. There's no room for error. This is one round, 
one shot, one winner. In 2019, Janet quit her job and set up her Asian street food style takeaway and along with C, it became famous for its sweet and spicy Taiwanese inspired cuisine. My grandmother teach me how to make dumplings. I combine my grandma's recipe and my recipe together. So this is my story. We put our heart into the food. It means I made the right decision to quit the job and to achieve my little dream to open a restaurant. <laughs> In the East Asian heat, Jonathan C's vegan tasting box impressed the judges and sealed their place in the final. Janet gave a modern twist on a Chinese classic. Mm, I really like that. Great little team. So enthusiastic about their food and you can taste it. Today I'm going to cook a crispy uh, chicken rice bowl with like a Janice sauce as well. This is uh, one of the best sellers in the Janice restaurant. I think the public will love these dishes because it's crispy and tastes a bit spicy and sweet. So it, and also it's my favorite dishes as well. Definitely it's, it's a winner dish. Janice crispy chicken. Crispy, crunchy, spicy, sweet. It's interesting to see the girls' chicken. I think it's all down to that tempura that they're going to use. Rice flour, potato starch, corn flour, coating it all and they're shaking it off so it's not too heavy. All those things are going to help to maintain its crispiness for the duration of the travel. So they've put a bit of thought into this. I really hope they make something that travels well. I'm actually quite impressed with their choices today. I, I actually think they've played it not safe, but I think they know what they can deliver that gives us flavor. I think this could be the winning ticket. Battling Janet's for the takeaway title at the Dublin Pizza Company. Mick started the Dublin Pizza Company in 2016 and together with head chef Godwin, serve up classic Italian pizzas with a twist. We put so much love and hard work into it. I wanted us to be a little touch above the rest. From making the dough right to the tomato that goes on top of the pizza is the top quality. We're open till like four in the morning there, you know? Yeah. So it's like, a, it's like a party in front of an oven. Their decadent fantasy pizza with bacon, cochnatier cheese and comfy duck egg was a massive hit with the judges and they sailed into the final. That's a really good combination. They understand how the harmony of flavour works. Absolutely. I would order that all day long. Mmm! Dublin Pizza Company poshed up the humble Italian pizza and we loved it. They're a serious outfit. A lot of passion goes into that pizza. Our final dish is our Chief Row pizza. So it's a hot, spicy, rich, flavour bomb of a pizza. The Neapolitan style the Chief Row pizza contains induya, a spicy sausage from the Calabria region of southern Italy. We're doing a marriage between Italian and Irish products to get a really delicious pizza. Absolutely. In terms of whether this pizza is for everybody, I don't think it will be because it's got spice, it's got blue cheese, potentially challenging flavors. But in terms of exemplifying who we are, I think it's worth it to put, to put that pizza out there. Look, I'm really looking forward to tasting this, but I think they're taking a bit of a risk. And have they taken on too much? Have they risked too much? There's a lot on there. Sometimes less is more. Sometimes making smart options about simplicity and flavor are the best thing for this. I'm interested to see if this delivers. Gary and Adam from Sambro's have a strong American influence. Open since 2019, they've grown the business into one of Limerick's must-try takeaways. Sambro's is a burger joint. Try to be big on creativity, like lots of flavor, and then with a nice atmosphere as well, and, and that really translates into the food. It's unique. We're trying to elevate it, because like Limerick doesn't have anything like yeah. us at the moment. Their Juicy Lucy Burger soft center surprised the judges and sent them through to the final. Something naughty about that. That's juicy. That was really good. Sambro's took a burger to a whole new level. I loved Sambro's. They kept it simple and it was delicious. For the final, we're going to be doing a barbecue burger. We're going to go beef again because it's one of the most popular items on the menu. 
So this burger is more tailored towards the crowd. Yeah, beef burger with cheese and smoked pulled pork then. On the side, we're doing a classic mac and cheese. It's really cheesy, really rich. This can win it for us, yeah. definitely. Burgers on, just gonna seal them off for now. And then get focused on everything else. Well, I think the guys are being clever with the burger. There's a simplicity to what they do. It's a hot sandwich, and if they accompany it in the right way, the right flavors, it will be executed very well. I just feel that they're operating in a completely different level to what we saw in the heats. But it's not the judges that the takeaways will need to impress, it's the public. Our takeaway fanatics will sample five dishes before voting for their favorite. Hello everyone and welcome to the final of Takeaway Titan! <laughs> now, I would have taken you somewhere more glam, but all the money was spent on my outfits. Are you hungry? Yes. Are you ready for some takeaway? Yes. Yeah, we do get a lot of takeaway. We consider ourselves probably some takeaway connoisseurs. It has to be perfect, it has to be spicy. If it's bland, I won't eat it. So I would ring them up the takeaway and tell them. For me, really, it has to be pizza or Chinese, depending on depending on the mood. Yeah. Depending on the mood, how many hens we've gone to. <laughs> <laughs> I love pasta. I love kebabs. I love pizza. I love burgers. I love <laughs> fish. I leave on takeaways. <laughs> Try and stop me. <laughs> for me, it has to be Asian infusion. And for me, I like anything with flavour, anything with spice. We tend to agree ninety percent of the time. Of the time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But as long as there's garlic mayo, then I'm happy. Halfway through, prep done. It's time to start cooking. Start getting those. Uh, no, no, no. Onions. Onions are ready, upstairs. Yes, chef. Yeah. I've tasted everything. I'm happy with everything. Just gotta get these boxes out. Going pretty well so far. We're we're doing well with the time. Plenty of time to get it done. Purse is tight now, just no mucking around really to be honest with you. With 30 minutes gone and 30 portions still to cook, it Hi seems guys. like the perfect opportunity for the judges to have a little chit chat. So what do you think is going in here that's just gonna wow these customers today? We're gonna hit all of the flavour profiles on the palate. Sweet, salty, sour, heat. This barbecue sauce, is this something you use in the restaurant? Yes, would you like to taste some? Honest opinion. Hmm. Sweet. Sweet, yeah, it's a sweet barbecue A little barbecue bit of spice. Sauce. Yeah, it's a then sweet barbecue Vinegar. Sauce. It's good. Good. Blue cheese, chilies. Hey, how are you? You guys are flat out here. Busy, I am busy. loving this production line. We're getting it on quick. You need to be super organized. Love it. What do you think the public will think? Um, I hope that they enjoy the kind of the adventure of flavor and the journey from Italy to Ireland and uh, see that we're doing something which is still still using the classic traditional techniques and flavor profiles. Yep. But uh, doing something a, a bit new. A lot of Irish ingredients there. Lots of Irish ingredients and lots of love from the message from the okay. Giorno. I will let you guys go because this is now yeah. starting there to get go. heated. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Janet is cooking a traditional crispy chicken bowl with ki pai mayonnaise and sriracha sauce. Hello. My two favorite girls. <laughs> How are we getting on? All good. Everything on the Everything process. Everything under control? Yes. Do you want to try some of uh, our chicken? You got some fried chicken for me? Yes. You've got, you've got ki pai mayonnaise? Yes. My favorite. There you go. Two things I love, sriracha and ki pai. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. Hot, hot. You like it? It's good. Huh? Thank you. Well, good luck, girls. Thank you so much. Smells yeah. amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. 15 minutes to go, everyone. 15 minutes left. Do you need anything? No. Nope. You good on that? How, how's the buns looking? Yeah. You used all the cheese sauce, chef, yeah? Yeah. As the clock ticks down, the pressure is on to cook enough portions to feed the hungry takeaway fanatics. Have this, guys, come on. With only three pizza ovens and 15 pizzas to cook, each taking four minutes, the
the Dublin Pizza Company cannot afford any slip-ups. It's no joke pulling in those pizzas in and out of those ovens. Every time that door opens, it drops in temperature. I mean, it's a, it's a hell of a task. I know. It's a tall order. It really is. Okay, Goblin, check those pizzas. I am. Did you throw away two pizzas, Goblin? Yeah. A oh, man. But, I mean, what is going on, Goblin? One of the ovens turned off halfway through. Yeah. So we lost two pizzas in the middle of, yeah. of it, and we had to bin them. So we had to start again. So that completely threw us. Yeah. Two pizzas down, they now run the risk of not getting the remaining pizzas cooked in time. Tight now. It's tight now. <laughs> Bonjour, everyone, and welcome to Shea James. Would you like some pizza from the Dublin Pizza Company? Yes! What about Janet's crispy chicken rice bowl? Yes! And how about some BBQ burger with mac and cheese? Yes! Well, it's moments away. Five minutes to go, everyone. Five minutes remaining. You got gremolata on everything? Cut them and count how much we have then, Gary, OK? I have eight more portions ready, yeah. Four more to slice, eight more boxes, come on. You can do this, come on. Final push. Pizza's got one. How many do we have left? That's it, everything in the oven. Okay, I'm gonna start giving you five burgers now, Adam, okay? Mm hmm Sliced already. Or what's what? Are they done? Start no, going. No, I just need chilies in here. But we, we are running out of time. I'm a little bit worried about the Dublin Pizza Company. The last of those pizzas need to be cooked now. One minute, everyone. This is your final minute. You need lids on, ladies. Lids on, lids on. Come on, ladies. Get the lids on. Okay, so we have space to slice those pizzas when they're out. Where's the slicer? Here, come on here. Yeah, I'm closing these, sir. Then keep on going. Nice pace on this one, Adam, right? actually freaking out for them. Five, four, three, two, one. Time That's to cook, it, everyone. Guys. Stop cooking. Bang. Done. Yes, chef. That's oh. it, guys. Step away from your pods. Time is up. Oh, oh. oh my god, that <laughs> wow, that was intense. Well done, everyone. Let's get ready for delivery. Yeah, it went really well for us. Very confident now. It was all down to very good planning. We managed to get all our portions. We hope the guests like it and judges as well. It would mean the world to us if we did win. So it's just down to them, really. I think it went pretty well. Right down to the wire. It was a great achievement, to be honest. I'm quite happy. I mean, we actually managed to get away with it. God knows how, but uh, we're happy enough. Oh my God, finally, it's done. We are really relaxed and we are really confident about this outcome. I think the public will love our food when they try the chicken, crispy outside, juicy inside, and smiling good, you know, the most delicious food, number one, of course. <laughs> I love Asian food. It's uh, fresh, healthy, exotic. What's not to love? Yeah. yeah. I love a burger. What makes a really good burger? It's really simple for me. It's all about the patty, I suppose. I'm looking forward to the Dublin Pizza Company. Here they have a black squid ink garlic dip. So I've never tried to have it before, but uh, that'd be interesting. I'm a bit of a pizza connoisseur, so uh, I'm looking forward to trying that. Oh, food's here. Yeah. Are you hungry? Yes. Let's go. You want a pizza? Yes. yes. There you yes. go. Thank you. Pizza? Yes. There you go. <laughs> you want it? Ah! I'm sorry. <laughs> Dublin Pizza Company are serving their Lurchifro pizza topped with spicy and duya sausage, cashel blue cheese, and a black garlic squid and gaioli. We have done our best. I think we're going to win. Yeah, it's over to the public and the judges now, so we just got to wait and see. Yeah. I'm going to just tear off a slice. Let me see, how's that base for you, Susie? Yeah, like, it's not so gay. Mm. Initial parts. Good flavour. It's cooked well. The base is good. Nice colour on the bottom. 
they put in a huge amount of effort into this pizza. There's quite a, a lot of different components on here. Good flavor. Ooh, 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 ooh. I forgot. Black, Black garlic aioli. They did this in their heat as well, the yeah. squid ink. Let's go for a wee dunk. Mm -hmm. This is just a garlic mayonnaise. I think because they use black fermented garlic, then they put a bit of squid ink in with it. Normally, I'm not a fan of squid ink, but I like garlic mayonnaise with pizza. So once you can get past the color, it actually tastes not bad. Yeah. How about yourself, Susie? I'm getting a little bit of heat from the ninja. I'm getting a little bit of other kind of fresh heat from the chili. So I don't know the Irish public. This will probably divide them. They put an extraordinary amount of effort in here, and I genuinely think they understand flavor. Um, but will the public appreciate that? We'll see. It's down to them. Pizza's delicious, though. Mm. And I love the base. The base. It's really crispy. It's proper. Yeah. Pizza's lovely. Yeah. Pizza's good. Blue cheese and a dia is just something different. And then, obviously, a charcoal colour dip is definitely new. But yeah, no, really, really good. I prefer a little bit more cheese, but uh, the crust was nice. Uh, the, the roasted veggies were nice. The garlic was the winner. The toppings look interesting. The crust looks pretty nice. I'm really intrigued about this garlic dip. Never tasted anything like that before. No, that's very good. That's oh, awesome. the, it's like Squidward or something. I think the sauce really works with the pizza. There's a lot of flavors going on in there, and I would, I would, I would order that on a Saturday night. Who wants Janet? Yeah. Yes. yes! I said, who wants Janet? Yes. Yeah. Okay, you need something. You need something. There you go. Now, thank you so much. One more for you. Janet's is serving a crispy chicken rice bowl with key pie mayo and a sriracha sauce. We think uh, our dish is the winner dish. We will win. <laughs> yeah. Give me five. <laughs> <laughs> like one more, like a <laughs> high five. <scene. laughs> the flavors are really tasty. Mm -hmm. The sriracha with the mayo, good combo. I'm still getting some crunch, but the flavors, yeah, it's good. Delicious. You enjoying it? Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Spicy, right? Mm, really good. Mm. There's something really tasty about it, frying it just in the potato starch. The rice is good, it's cooked evenly. Salad's very simple. It really is down to the public at this stage. I mean, the girls work so well together and they really enjoy what they do. Um, I think it's a tasty bowl of food. Will it be memorable for the general public? Do you think they're gonna go for this? I like hot sauce and key pie mayonnaise. I find it one wakens you up and the other one cools it down. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things, you either like it or you don't. I think they may have played it too safe. Okay. I just think they can make delicious dumplings. She's known for her dumplings as exactly. well, so you think that was a mistake not going for dumplings? We're looking for the takeaway titan here. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for the best. I'm looking for really memorable. And as much as this is a really tasty plate of food, I just think she is a machine. So she could have fired out the dumplings. I think she tried to do something that she felt would travel well. Mm -hmm. I think um, the dumplings would have been a risk. Okay. No, I, I, I think they made the right call. Here you go, Janet's, Janet's, Janet's. <laughs> Janet's looks good. Yeah, it's really nice. Really garlicky, really crispy, tender on the inside, yum. Really happy. Like sweet chili sauce. Mayo, I think, as well. I'm not really sure. I think it's a bit odd that the salad is mixed in with all the hot stuff. If that was separate, it might have been. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, see, I quite like that, cr the freshness and the crunch. the crunch. Yeah, with it. I normally wouldn't go for mixed. that, but it actually yeah. works. The sauces go really well with the chicken. They complement it excellent. The sesame seeds, really enjoy those, but the best is definitely the cucumber. Sticky sushi rice. I wasn't a big fan of that, but everything else was lovely. The, the rice is really hard to get right, and it's, per it's perfect. The stickiness of the, the texture of the rice is perfect. I didn't even get to the sticky rice because the chicken was so good, so filling. And the chicken is really, really tender, really soft and juicy. It's great. I really like it. Do you guys like burgers? Oh, yes! yes. I said, do you guys like burgers? Yeah. Woo! Here you go. Thank you. Burger, burger, burgers. Okay, let's give this a go. 
Sambro's final takeaway is a barbecue beef burger portion served with a side of mac and cheese topped with a gramolada breadcrumb. I think the public are really going to enjoy this. We've done all we could do. Looking to bring it home now to Limerick. Yes, let's go. Bang. Sandwich looks great. I'm going to go straight in there, Susie. Bottoms up. Yeah. What is it that you're looking for in a great burger? Flavour. Does this, um, does this have it? This has a lot of depth. The brioche bun is good. And the meat is still sort of pink, juicy. Are you sure you don't want some? Yeah, I might see if there's any afterwards. <laughs> I love pulled pork on a burger, and I am a fan of barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. They've made their own barbecue sauce, which is kind of sweet, but still sort of pickly with the vinegar. I'm enjoying it, I like it. How about you, Susie? Does it work for you? Absolutely. Smoky pulled pork. They're homemade, like, hand-cut beef burger with the crispy rasher of bacon, that tangy barbecue sauce, and this slaw. It works really well. It's full of juice, it's full of flavour. They've even roasted the bun. So there's been a, an extraordinary amount done to get flavour packed into this burger and, and, and it's good. I'm going to give the macaroni and cheese. It's balanced. It's not too creamy, it's not sickly. And yeah, I really like it with that lovely crispy breadcrumb topping. And it's what we call in the professional kitchen a gremolata which is roasted breadcrumbs with lemon zest and herbs um, and garlic. And, and, and that's what they put on top of the mac and cheese. So it's delicious, it's good. And it works well with the burger. I think so. I'm old fashioned, I like fries, but this isn't bad at all. So look, there's five different takeaways and one of the main things is gonna be making something memorable. Do you think this will cut through? I, I think this is good enough to be remembered. All I'm gonna say, it is very tasty, but it's all down to the public. Two more burgers, who wants it? This burger is just phenomenal, like it's an absolute game changer. Coleslaw on the bottom is lovely and um, the burgers cook very, very well. Very different. It's very unusual to have like mac and cheese with a burger as well, but um, really, really good. Oh, that's really like smoky. That's definitely a messy burger. Mm -hmm. I really like that taste. It's like a barbecue flavour of it. It's lovely. I usually go for the kind of pizza, but uh, the Zambrero's burger was insane. It was unbelievable. <laughs> With the first round of takeaways delivered, the three teams from the first heat must await the final vote. But Little Fish and Spice Cottage still have it all to do as they prepare to go head to head in the next heat. This is the last part of this competition, which will give it our all, and hopefully it'll put little fish on the map. To really put the cherry on the top would be to go home with a win as well. I think we are going to win the public with the food. We have it. What do you think? Yeah, we're going to, we are going to wing it. Okay, little fish, Spice Cottage, get ready to cook. Your time starts now. Good luck, guys. It's now the turn of Little Fish and Spice Cottage to cook 30 portions of their chosen takeaway in just 60 minutes. Guys, two very different takeaways here. The previous three were pretty impressive. Yep. These guys got a lot to live up to. The bar's been set pretty high. We've got fish and chips, we've got a curry. The nation's favorite kind of takeaway dishes are being produced right now. Everybody seems super focused. Both teams are doing everything from scratch. We got the fish and chips. It's all fresh fish. We got the curry that they're building with all that spice cooked out fresh. The public are gonna be critical. So let's hope they nail it. I think they are really gonna push the boat out now and they are going to try to just wow us. Sue took over the running of Spice Cottage in 2011. Along with head chef Rajesh, they specialize in North Indian cuisine. We are based in Sally Noggin in South Dublin. My dad, Harry, started the business in 2001. He was inspired by Granny's cooking. We all are like a big family here. We love feeding people. They keep coming back for it because they love it. They are addicted to it. But it was their Korma and Alu Tiki chat that won over the judges.